Hey, my name is Steve West. I'm with Premier HVC Mechanical Corp here in Peachtree Corners, Georgia. We service the Northeast Metro Atlanta area. I have done a previous video on our 2024 carrier um, product lines. Um, just kind of give a brief description of all the product lines. And I just want to do a quick video to just uh, zero in on our uh, top tier or top product line infinity system. So I'm going to start off with the outdoor unit. So this is actually our uh, 24 VNA 936. So this is a three ton um, outdoor section. Um, it comes with the louvered uh, heavy duty coal guard uh, to protect the outdoor coal. Uh, it also comes with the uh, inverter driven compressor. So it's actually got an inverter in here that, that switches it over to DC volts. Um, uses very little electricity. Also has the ECM motor, uh, condenser fan motor, which is very efficient and quiet. These things are very quiet. So this is a five stage outdoor unit. Um, once you get into the Infinity Series, you're really getting into uh, technical uh, features of any air conditioning system. This is the top of the line. Uh, I think, in my opinion, it has the best technology of any communicating system that's out there. Uh, of course, I'm biased because I'm a carrier dealer, uh, but it, but um, since it's a five-stage outdoor unit and we paired up, this is actually a high-efficient uh, 59TN6 uh, indoor furnace. Uh, so you vent this one with PVC um, to go to the outside, so this is what you call a condensing furnace. So it does produce water in the wintertime. Uh, so you have to pay special attention on how you drain these in the wintertime for when it gets below freezing outside because water lines can drain, which would, can uh, make these furnaces uh, inoperable if you don't uh, watch what you're doing with that. So these uh, infinity systems, depending upon which uh, matchup you put them with, you can go anywhere from 19 SEER up to 26 SEER rating, and that's a SEER 2 rating. Um, and then I'm gonna get into the infinity thermostat. So the Infinity Thermostat, here again, it has all kinds of parameters that I can set as a pro when we, when we install these units. Uh, our techs or I have to go in and actually set up the system for what you actually have at your house. So depending on what outdoor unit you have and what indoor section you have, if you have added a steam humidifier, uh, or an electronic air cleaner. You can set reminders up in here for when it's time to service them. Um, you can also set all kinds of parameters as far as airflow. So with this system, uh, they are designed to run most of the time. Uh, so these really control humidity in the uh, fall and the spring, uh, actually throughout the whole summer, but particularly in the fall and the spring when you don't need as much cooling. So typically these things are gonna run on a very low speed, could run on just the first stage most of the time, except for your hottest days of the year. It may ramp up to 75, 80%, and then once it gets close to that level and you reach the humidity targets that you've put it, input it into the controls that you would like to reach, it kind of communicates with the outdoor humidity and temperature and the indoor humidity and temperature to make the fan speeds adjust to each other to reach that set point. Once it reaches that set point, it will still run at a very low speed, which is why you avoid those hot and cold swings in your home. This is designed to give you a much more even temperature throughout your house at all times. It's not gonna come on at 100% and go right back off. So you get hot and then the AC comes on, it cools it down real quick and then you go back and forth. These are designed to maintain that 70 or 72 degrees at all times. Um, these systems are really great with zoning. So if you are zoning with uh, more than two zones, uh, and that's kind of just my kind of rule of thumb, because if you got two zones and they're fairly equal in size, say so you've got a four ton infinity system and you've got two tons of air conditioning going to one place and are right close to two tons of air conditioning going to another place, it's no big deal. These can really handle that. And you can also probably do a two-stage in that situation. They won't be as efficient, they won't be as communicating as this system is. But when you get above two zones, 
uh, when you get into three, four, and five zones where you're only calling for five to 700 CFM per zone at a time, you can actually set the parameters in the pro settings of how much CFM is gonna go to each zone, which is what really helps with wind noise, uh, get you away from having to do bypass dampers because it's actually regulating the airflow uh, of what the actual airflow is calling for in each specific zone. Um, the carrier infinity zoning system comes with a 15 position zone damper, so it's just not open and closed. So it's coordinating with the indoor blower motor, variable speed motor, it's ramping up and down with the outdoor five stage uh, inverter compressor, it's ramping up and down together and they are communicating also with the indoor uh, zoning board to tell this 15 position damper it needs to be open at 10%, 15%, 20%, whatever. So it's got 15 positions and that's how it regulates even more the airflow down or up which way it needs to go. So you really can pinpoint the um, temperatures that you desire in each zone much better with these infinity systems, especially when it's above two zones. So if you'd like to have any more information about these, we are running rebates on these in uh, 2024, instant rebates. Uh, if you would go to our website, we typically have those rebates and specials that we run on our website at www.supercoolguys.com. If you're in our service area, we'd like a free uh, estimate for a change out or for a new install, you can give us a call at 770-696-4189. And if you like our content, Please support us by hitting the share, like, subscribe button below. And remember, we're not super cool until you are.